Hi, and welcome to this Texturing with ZBrush 3 training kit presented by Digital Tutors. My name is Kyle, and I'll be your instructor for the next few hours as we go through the process of sculpting detail and painting high resolution textures for your objects and characters in ZBrush 3.1. Now, typically, when creating textures in a 2D painting application, the process involves very careful manipulation of images and hand painted detail in order to fit properly back over your 3D mesh. Now, unfortunately, this method of working usually results in areas of the texture that may appear to be stretched or skewed when they get applied back to the 3D object. Now, by utilizing ZBrush as a texture painting tool, we can now paint our textures directly onto the 3D mesh. And also, ZBrush gives us the added capability to paint a mesh's sculpted features directly onto our 2D texture. And so this results in textures that are very highly detailed and have no distortion on the 3D mesh. So in order to explore all these features, we're going to get started by importing and detailing a 3D mesh. So we'll explore the process of adding detail efficiently across multiple subdivision levels. We'll utilize alpha brushes to add sculpted details quickly and use 3D layers to gain a much deeper level of control over those sculpted features. Now, once the rhino's been sculpted, we'll use ZBrush's poly painting to create textures for the skin. So we'll take a look at how we can create base colors, then begin layering on a variety of color variations, age spots, dirt, and fine wrinkles to create these very, very detailed textures that really can be used in any 3D application from that point. So we'll also explore the process of generating normal maps and displacement maps and how they can be utilized back in our primary 3D application. So as you can see, we have a lot of material to cover over the next few hours, so let's go ahead and get started in the next lesson.